All right, everyone. So we are out, ready to launch a rocket today. I've got a tripod, all my stuff out here, and over there is my homemade rocket. If you can see it down there. Anyhow, so um, if you've seen the earlier part of my video, I've been working on building a engine for this rocket, and really this cardboard tube that I made as my rocket is really just serving as a test chamber for this rocket engine that I built. I really did not put much time into it. In fact, let's go over and take a look at it real quick. Um, so here you go. Yeah, it's just pretty crude. Use some cardboard tubes and some uh, cardboard boxes to make the fins and stuff. Anyhow, I'm going to slide the engine up in the bottom of it and I'm just going to test it like that. So, simple enough. Um, I don't expect, I didn't put a parachute in this thing uh, because I really didn't want to put that much time into something that's just a way to test my engine. I don't even know if this thing's going to get off the ground. So we're going to find out in just a little bit. Anyhow, like I said, there's my camera over there. I'm also going to be recording with my camera here on my phone. Anyhow, like I said, I'm just going to be using this, uh, I'm using this Estes launcher I've used for some of my other rockets. I got the set of yards, so like five years ago. Anyhow, um, I've also got another, another setup. Let me go show you this here. Um, just some long wire, some, this is what you can use if you don't have one. Just got some wire and put some um, alligator clamps on it with a 9 volt battery and that should do the trick. Um, I've tried before making my homemade like things to get these lit um, because they use most rockets your your little cheap Estes rockets use these little lighters igniters they get real hot. Um, I thought I could create like a, a a fuse or something and and that could work but I didn't have any luck getting it hot enough to actually ignite the fuel because it has to have a really a small area of a really hot flame um, and these do the trick so you can try other things but I didn't have any luck we're gonna use this today and we're not even sure if this is gonna work because like I said the fuel in these rocket engines they soak up a lot of moisture and I have it in a bag but I'm not totally confident because I took some of it out this morning and I tested it and it did okay but it took a it took it was pretty hard to light it so we'll see how it goes anyhow I'm just gonna get it hooked up for you and then we'll launch in just a second Alrighty, so here it goes. We're ready to launch it. Um, I got my camera set up, so like I said, there's my SS. Got a wire going all the way to the rocket here. And I've got the, I don't know if you can see there, those little pins are connected there to my little igniter that's up in the, hopefully touching the fuel of the rocket where it should be. So, let's go ahead and get this camera here started. Looks good. All right, let's start recording. Okay. Ooh, I gotta get my. There it is. All right, so. so hopefully it's. We're supposed to have a light here if it's actually working. There we go. Is that a little light that lit up? I think it's armed. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. That was just a little bit insane. So, let's see if we can find the pieces. <laughs> okay. Here's one piece. That, I don't even know if you caught a lot of that on camera, but wow. Here's another piece. I don't know what happened there, but it blew up. That's the most I can tell you right now. All right, here's the, here we go. What's this thing? Yeah, um, so the top of it's fine. I think the engine itself blew up. Um, I hope we can find that. That's gonna be the hard part. There's a piece that went up here, I know that much. So let's go look. So, I know why I can't find anything. Look what I found. Yep, 
That's BBC, the PVC pipe. It completely blew up. It didn't just the cap didn't come off. It completely had a structural failure. It's rated 500 psi, if not more, and that blew up. And that's the thick part of it too. This thing totally obliterated. All right, so here's the extent of my rocket as it is left. This is all I could find of the rocket engine. That right there. So anyhow, this is part of the nozzle you can see here. That's where the nozzle screwed in there and drilled out. Anyhow, that's all. If you remember, there was a lot more to it than that, but evidently the rest is in itty bitty pieces like this so scattered across the field. I could not come across them anywhere. Also the bottom of this tube totally obliterated. Um, the fins actually stay together, just cardboard, but uh, the tube itself just kind of disintegrated as well, which this is right where the PVC pipe was located. So PVC pipe was like right there. So that's why this whole section blew apart. Anyhow, yeah, back to the drawing board, I guess. Obviously, the chamber way over pressurized. I mean, it wasn't even close. Look here. I mean, this is like one of the thickest parts of the... I can get to focus here of the rocket. Focus. It's not one to focus. There we go. All right, this is like one of the thickest parts of the rocket engine, and it broke itself. I mean, just clean right through. I expected if anything did blow, I thought it'd be like the end cap or something, which it obviously did. But it's not like the end cap just came off. It just completely obliterated the entire engine. So, like I said, back to the drawing board.